Hey everybody, AZ Pop Hunter here, and I'm in a pretty good mood today because we're actually going to meet up with a local collector who's going to be selling me some of his Chase Pops. Really excited to pick those up, but first, we're going to hit up GameStop, see what they got on the shelves. Hit the music, hit the title, let's get inside. All right, guys, there were some pretty nice things at GameStop. Decided we're going to stop at Olympus Games before we go and pick this stuff up from this local seller. So let's head inside and see if they got anything new on the shelves. So I feel like this is uh, kind of an important thing to let people know, uh, just in case you uh, go out shopping and you don't know exactly what you're looking for. Uh, this is actually a fake. Um, this is not from the company that makes them. There is another logo that goes up here. So make sure when you guys are buying stuff, even from stores you trust, always check and make sure that what you're buying is real because these are normally really expensive. Um, and yeah, this is definitely not a real one. So. Something to be aware of when you do go out to some of these stores, uh, some of these items they don't even know aren't real, so make sure you always double check what you're buying before you buy it because you don't want to get stuck with a fake. So yeah, that was uh, that was a look inside Olympus Games. Um, a little disappointed actually. I actually returned a couple of those the other day because they were fakes, um, and I, I really am shocked that they put them back out. So again, um, I let them know. I'm not sure why they restocked them. Just make sure when you guys are buying stuff that uh, 
you guys check the authenticity of it make sure that it's real make sure that it has all the right labels really sucks to go into a store and spend money on something like that and it end up being fake and it kind of sucks that they put it back out um yeah, kind of disappointed to see that. Just want to make sure you guys know, always double check what you're buying. Always look for the labels. Always make sure the prices are right. If something seems like it's too good of a deal, it probably is. Do not let anybody screw you guys over on prices. Uh, definitely shouldn't be selling things like that. So yeah, kind of disappointed to see that. Well, guys, we're going to end this a little differently than I expected. Um, I definitely do not want to put a hit out or say anything negative about Olympus Games. It is a, a nice little shop that I've shopped at numerous times. I've bought plenty from. Uh, it is unfortunate that they had those figures out that weren't real. Um, but, you know, accidents happen. An employee could have realized that they weren't returned, stuck them out on the floor thinking they were for sale, and they're back on the shelf. So things happen, but I want to kind of turn this into a PSA for anybody who does like to collect things. Um, and that kind of goes along with what happened to me today. Um, I did meet a person who was locally selling stuff online. He did have some chase pops for sale. Uh, we decided to meet up so I could buy them. Uh, he said that he had anxiety, so he really didn't like meeting people, but he dropped them off for me and I could pick them up and all this other stuff. And I asked him, Hey, are these boxes in good condition? Is the plastic in good condition or the pops in good condition, the stickers, all that stuff. Cause I like to have my chases as good as quality as possible. And uh, he said, yeah, everything's great. Everything looks really good. They're mint. So I said, all right, cool. We'll, we'll pick them up and we'll do this trade. So I'm going to show you guys what I got and I'll kind of tell you guys uh, my feelings on everything. So uh, yeah, let's look at them right now. Uh, so we did pick up Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Uh, this is a PX exclusive uh, chase. It's a glow chase. And uh, this is one of the ones that he said was in great condition and that the plastic was great on it. And unfortunately, um, the plastic is all marked to hell um, on both sides. It does not look very good, um, which was kind of a letdown and a bummer. Um, I kind of feel like he obviously did not want to meet me in person because he did not want me to see this, but... Uh, yeah, it's still a really cool figure. It still looks really good. It's going to be in my collection as a placeholder until I can get a better quality one, and then I'll probably give it to my son, so I know that he'll end up loving it. Um, but we also picked up Super Saiyan Kale, which out of the three, this one definitely is in the best condition. This is another limited edition Chase Glow. And uh, there she is with all of her green hair and her lightning. Uh, this one definitely has the best quality of all the boxes. There are some markings up here that I can't get off. Uh, which is unfortunate because if I do get it signed, um, they'd have to sign over that. But, you know, other than that, this is by far the best quality one. And it's definitely a cool looking pop. So, again, add to, or adding it to my collection, uh, really happy about that. And then the one that I was kind of not thrilled about, uh, Vegeta powering up. Now, this is a really cool pop. I do love the blue in this. But uh, as you can see right here, uh, yes, his eye is chipped. His nose is chipped, there's paint on the front, and I know that this probably wasn't something that the buyer did, um, but when I asked about the pops, that's the kind of information that I, I would like them to tell me about, so I know if I want to buy it or not. Um, other than that, it's a really cool looking pop. Uh, I am kind of disappointed in the quality of it and of the case, but uh, it does seem to be real, they all seem to be real, so that's good. And like I said, it will just be a placeholder in my collection until I get a new one. Then I'll give it to my son, and, and he'll love them regardless of what they look like. So in the end, it's a win-win, and we're going to stay positive. But I do want to let you guys know to always be careful with what you guys are buying from people. Uh, I do not like to think that people are horrible and, and want to rip you off, but you just really never know who's out there. I mean, that includes stores, too. So if you love collecting anything, whether it's Pokemon cards action figures pops toys anything like that make sure that you know what you're buying make sure that you know what the price is if it's too good to be true it probably is um yeah and just don't don't invest your time in something that you guys do not think is real and you know if you're watching this and you know better than me if you don't think these are real please let me know and let me know why i'd love to hear more about it i'm not great at picking out fake things but uh from all the research i did they do look real i just wish they were in the quality i was told they were in but yeah, uh, so we're going to end the video there, guys. Uh, you know, thanks for watching. I'm sorry it wasn't as uplifting and positive as most of my videos are, but we did have fun stopping by GameStop uh, earlier in the day. And hopefully you guys took some good lessons away from all this. Uh, if you guys have Instagram, you want to follow me, az underscore pop hunter. That is me. You can find me on there. Uh, if you do like our videos, we normally do some uh, really fun videos, either getting signings or going out and you know, doing Funko hunts, you guys can subscribe to the channel, like the video if you guys feel this was informative at all, and hey, make sure you guys check out later this week, we will have more for you, thanks for watching.